It's time now to hear from coaches Kevin Sheedy and Robert Walls about the big clash out at Windy Hill today with Bobby Skelton asking the questions. Kevin, uh, just how did you rate today's performance? Oh, that was a good performance, Bob. Uh, you know, we um, had trouble with Fitzroy for quite a long time as a, an opposition team and um, I feel that we're improving as a team gradually, as a team, not a team of stars or star-studded sort of players in the team that that have been probably there in the past, but I feel at the moment we're playing well as a, a, a unit of 20 and um, that's been our improvement. Rob, was there anything that, that pleased you about today's game? Well, I thought we, uh, we had a better go at it today than we did last week against the Swans. So I was pleased with that aspect of it. Um, we tried hard to team better today and as a result, we were probably a bit indirect in our play, but you know, at least we were getting the ball and uh, sharing the ball, which at times made us look wide and indirect, but still, I thought that was an improvement on last week. Well, I was going to ask you about that, was it, you know, whether it was a plan or, you know, at one stage, uh, Fitzroy had four kicks and went across, back and across and gained about 20 metres. Yeah, well, that's, that's not good football, Bob, but I suppose you have to uh, start off poorly to get things going the right way. And, you know, last week we had an all-time low of 40 handballs for the game. And uh, today we, you know, we worked hard to share the ball and, you know, as a result, sometimes we overdid it. Kevin, you've always made it obvious that you want a versatile side and players should be able to play anywhere. Uh, today you had uh, uh, Carey on the forward line, uh, Donnell Hawker on the back line. Was this the thought behind that plan? Oh, well, I think Frank Donnell's played quite well on the back line in the past and um, we had a uh, small player on Brian Winton um, which is Robert's choice, first of all, so we brought Winton off and put Donnell back. And um, I wanted to get Glenn Hawker onto the back line where he's had an, in, an injury to his knee. And I felt that if he would be coming off the back line, he would um, be running at the ball, meeting the ball, get your confidence back in your first game back in VFL footy for a month or so. And that left Carey, and I'd rather put Carey in the forward line to work hard at keeping the ball in the forward line. And, uh, you know, he gave us three goals. He didn't kick them himself, but he hand passed and short passed a, a kick over. So I, I felt that, that while it wasn't an absolute match winning sort of move, but we had reasons for it. And um, to me, that's very important. Rob, uh, Gary Sidebottom uh, picked up quite a number of kicks, but he picked them up out on the wing and way up the ground. At one stage, he had a kick on the half back line, which really left you one short on the forward line. What was the thought behind that tactic? Well, Gary, Gary Sidebottom played as a half-forward flanker today. Gary Pert was our centre half-forward. And because uh, Sidey, he was given more of a free run, and uh, I didn't mind where he went because we had Gary Pert at centre half-forward as our target. Uh, so that was the reason why Gary was all over the place today. Kevin, you've got a lot of what I term lesser-known players that you're getting great value out of. Uh, the Thompsons, the Clarks, the Ezards, the Harveys, uh, you know, what, how do you rate their form at the moment? Well, I've been, you know, really pleased with these young players. Um, I, I bring mean, them I up Neil because Clark's people not, just yeah. haven't, don't realise the value of, of those guys. Yeah, well, you know, the, the players that you've mentioned have worked at their game. Um, Bomber Thompson, uh, he's been an excellent player for us this year. He's only played a handful of games, probably ten at the most. Uh, Neil Clark's been there for quite a while, but he, he's missed 10 games this year and he's just coming back, so he's going to be naturally keen and, and pretty fresh and want, want to have a, a fairly good rest of the season. Ezard, we played <coughs> seven times last year, of which four matches of those seven games were finals matches. But I felt that if we're going to get anywhere, Essendon, we've got to keep bringing on our young players to um, introduce them into football and uh, let them get the maturity by playing matches and I think that the results have been on the board with players like say Roger Merritt who we've persisted with and have now started to get rewards from him and naturally Darren Williams and players like that who are now playing well that we've gone and made sure that we give them every opportunity and keep their confidence up and believe in them to keep ourselves a good club for not only one year but you know for quite a number of years and I think that that's the success of the team that have won premierships for the last five to ten years they've been up there every year year after year knocking on the door if they miss the premiership they're back in there the next year or two and get a chance Thanks, well I Kevin. must say Thanks, this Kevin quite seriously being a commentator on world of sport has certainly yes, helped Lou. you a lot 
And after today's defeat, would you like to be a commentator on World of Sport, uh, Robert? Oh, no, not yet, Lou. The Thomas Hardy Grand Reserve for both of you, plus these magnificent chocolate sultanas from Valentine's, and not forgetting our old friend Mayfair Festive Ham, and Coca-Cola, of course, that's a great pack for you. Mayfair again with the rush to bake, and this is the original book, and it's a great book, the official record of Australia too for both. How about that? Great present. Thank God you. bless you both. Thanks a lot. All right, let's check the voting in the Canberra Club Award for the Bombers, Williams, Baker and Simon Madden getting the votes for Fitzroy, Lee Carlson, Reeves and Turner, whilst in the progressive for both sides, Paul Salmon still leads at Windy Hill and Coleman at the Junction Oval. TAA, the friendly way, presents... What's your decision?